So all week long, we have been celebrating 35 years of the morning show, but there is one person who's a founding member, been around since the beginning, the one and only Roz. Tomorrow, she is bidding us goodbye. So we are taking a look back at her impactful trailblazing career. Before you leave the house, better think fast about your alternate. Roz Varen, queen of the Chicago streets and the city's first ever broadcast television traffic anchor. A lot of people are throwing out these words like icon, trailblazer, and I'm like, no, it's just me. <laughs> Sitting in an office, surrounded by memories, Roz takes us down memory lane. It all started 35 years ago, when ABC7 Chicago launched its first ever morning newscast. Even so, the CTA is your best bet this morning. It was a new concept with no blueprint. I came from radio. I did radio for almost 10 years before I started here. So um, back in, Late 1988, I somehow got wind of the fact that Channel 7 was going to start a morning newscast and they wanted to incorporate traffic, which had never been done before in morning news, ever, anywhere. So Roz went for the job, jumping into unknown territory, and she says she bombed her audition. It was just awful, I just blew it, totally blew it. So they said to me, okay, you know, we know that you know traffic, you've been doing it in radio, you're very good at this, blah, 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 but you're just too green for television, so thanks, but no thanks. She threw a bit of a pity party, but then something clicked for her. The only person you're competing against is yourself. My name is Roz Varon, and this is Traffic for... And next thing you know, Roz says she was putting together a new audition tape and going for the job again. It was in the afternoon and somebody said, Roz, there's a phone call for you, Joe Ahern from Channel 7. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So I took the phone call and he said, be careful what you asked for. It might come true. I'm offering you a job. I was very, I barely <laughs> very remember it. First. And the rest is history. She joined Alan Krzyzewski and Jerry Taft as part of the ABC7 Eyewitness News this morning's anchor team. But don't worry, the crews on this project will only... From handling all things transportation, from CTA to road construction. Just north of the downtown area. To one tank trips, weekenders, and the auto show. At the Chicago Auto Show! Over the last 35 years... Wonderful little baby girl. We have witnessed Roz's life evolve. She has shared beautiful moments with us like the birth of her daughter. Sarah is everything to me, everything. And having her grow up, it was just really special to be able to share my job with her and to share her with the viewers, which everybody got such a kick out of. And I'm all ready to come back to work. And tough moments, like her battle with breast cancer. He said, who's gonna raise my daughter? And they said, you are. And I said, you know, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna battle this. Cancer has a mind of its own. It doesn't care. Doesn't care who you are, what you do, doesn't care. So saying farewell to Roz means a farewell to someone who's been a fixture in Chicago for decades. I think I am going to miss the people I work with on the morning show the most out of anything that I do here because they really are my second family. Wow, way to make us all oh, choke up there, right? Mm. Oh, honey. As soon as I saw it, we're all going now. <laughs> like, don't your kids always take you out? Anyway, <laughs> any takers? Special. You know, when I was tracking that package yesterday, I mean, I, I became very weepy. And, um, but honest to goodness, it's just what a, what a, what a run. Yeah. yeah. What a run you, you know, a, 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 Tremendous. When you're doing your job, you don't think about it. You just keep doing it, mm -hmm. and you keep looking to improve and looking to find the next new cool thing. And then when you sit back and look at it like this, mm -hmm. it's like, holy crap, Batman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did I really do all that? You yeah. did all that. Mm -hmm. And I know you don't like the word trailblazer. I know you don't like the word icon and legend, but you did that, Ross. You were the first traffic reporter in the nation. Jamie Nicholas and I one day, she asked me, did any, she, she does all of our, our media relations. She said, do, are you aware of any other station in the country that has done traffic in their morning newscast before you? And I said, no. 
And she said, well, let's research this. So we, we both, you know, we made phone calls, we went online, we looked everywhere. We could not find any station that had ever done this before we did, before I did. So I claimed it. <laughs> as you, as you, as you should. should. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the thing about being called an icon and a trailblazer was it's not just about a moment in time. It's not just because you were there and you seized that opportunity 35 years ago. It is a body of work and an investment that you have made over the last three and a half decades at the station. It's, it's all of the in-between, not just the beginning. It is very gratifying to me to know that there are traffic reporters at just about every station in the country that has rush hour and that I somehow helped to make that happen and pave the way for a lot of young broadcasters mm -hmm. who use that as a stepping yeah. stone <laughs> to do other things. Yeah. Hello. Casey. I, I, I mean, oh, don't get me started. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I just remember <laughs> there was no way I would ever fill your shoes ever at the other station. I mean, I'm thinking like, She's the queen, like watching her trying to mimic that, no way, you were the queen. I'm not saying anything. I'm tired of having this yes. argument with yeah. you. <laughs> and uh, now we have all had the honor uh, of working with you, my dear, and it's so special to share in this moment with you. You really now. are my family. Yeah. You really are. Yeah. yeah. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.